What's up everybody? Back at you again with another review from Halo. One of my favorite companies. Uh, this time it's on the Reactor Tank. Uh, you can get it by itself or you can get it with the new Reactor mod they have. Which looks very sweet together, might I add. I've done a review on the Reactor mod uh, just before this video. So you can go back and uh, I'll put a link in the description the description down at the bottom uh, for the review on the uh, mod itself but right now we're gonna focus on the reactor tank itself it's made out of uh, solid stainless steel uh, not sure on the grade I'm pretty sure it's up on up there 304 stainless steel has a very nice pyrex glass tank um, I just emptied it out for the review and put a brand new coil head in it uh, I'll show you how it works Let's see here. Very, very nice air flow control. You, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's got very nice clicks to it. You can open it wide. You can always see through it. For those people that like mouth to lung inhales or cloud chasers that just want to blow mad clouds because the uh, reactor mod itself can go up to 50 watts and you can blow just, it's, it's, it's insane. It's the clouds, the flavor, everything. The flavor of this tank is just one of the best I've come across in a very long time. Uh, Alright, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Alright, um, back to the airflow control. Alright. See, as, oh, as I already said, yeah, we click, we click it back and forth like that. Uh, I like it wide open because I'm mouth to lung now. But, um, very easy to take apart, very easy to clean. What I'm going to do, see what it comes with is a drip tip up top. That uh, it's it's kind of wobbly at first. It comes apart in two pieces. Let's see if I can't get it off. It's a uh, white Derlin to uh, help with the heat dis dissipation, and it also has uh, like kind of heat sink leading up to a second part of the drip tip that you could take out to put any drip tip you want on it. It's got 510 style drip tip. Alright now to fill it all you have to do well we'll get back we'll get back to the filling here in a second. I want to show you how to take it apart. Okay. What you do you turn it upside down with a nice knurling on it. Very 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 easy just to unscrew it. This is what it'll look like. You'll have uh, your coil head, which is similar to a lot of the coil heads out there now. It's got uh, four slots for your uh, wicking. It's, you can see the coil in it right there. Stainless steel all the way around. Here's what the base looks like. Here's what the bottom looks like. Alright, see so what you do, you screw the coil head down in and get it nice and snug. You don't want it too snug or it might be hard to get out. It's got an O-ring on it, by the way, to uh, you know, fit in there nice and right. So no leakage. No leakage in this tank at all. And you could take this other piece out here, which is sort of like a chimney, kind of like a cave on chimney. Which will allow you to take the glass off, completely cleanable all the way through in and through out. So what I like to do is put it all together, get it nice and tight, which isn't hard at all to do. I mean, even somebody with a uh, the moment that pick with the drip tip, the little top one, is it gets kind of loose on me. I mean, um. I don't know if it's due to the where I've used it so much right now, but uh, just just for this review, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that off. That, that's one thing about the the plastic ones or the Derlins. I, I just I've never been a fan of them. That is the only problem with this tank. All right, so to start off with a new coil head, what you'll want to do is uh. 
prime it. You want to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven drops in it. Alright. Wait a second. Put one, two, three, four more. That ought to do it. Make sure you prime your coil head nice and good. You don't really have to, but it's, it's just something that I do. Alright, then what you do is you take your tank, put it back on it. Nice threads, by the way. Really nice threads. Stainless steel everything. Um, easy peasy way to just fill this. All you have to do, boom, pow. And then you got two fill slots in it. That's what this uh, part looks like. The top part. It's got two rubber gaskets here to pre prevent any kind of leaking. You put it back on, snaps. No wiggling, nothing. Solid. To fill it, what you do is you simply take it and just watch it fill up. So, 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 so easy. Look at that. Boom, done. Filled up, ready to go. Put your top back on, pow. No leaking whatsoever. It's just a, a phenomenal tank. The flavor I get off of this tank is killer, killer. I'm telling y'all. One of my favorite tanks. It says Halo four times all the way around the sides here. It's engraved in the stainless steel. Um, let's go ahead and throw it on the Halo reactor mod and give it a vape. If you don't prime it, you want to wait a while for the juice to soak in to the coil head. Um, it's what it'll come with is a 0 0.50 uh, um, coil head. So um, you get different coil heads from Halo. Um, what you want to do is start at a lower voltage or a lower uh, wattage. To break it in, you don't want to start off on like 50 watts and just cook it. I usually start off around 30, 25, 30 watts. We'll put it on, uh, let's see here. We'll put it on about 30, yeah, 30 watts. Alright, and then we'll hit it. Now i got to open my airflow control first. We've got it wide open now. You hear that airflow. I got a fan on blowing, so it's just blowing the vapor everywhere. Look at this. I'm gonna close it off a little bit to get more suction sometimes. You can close it off even more to get mouth and lung inhaled. Hang on, let me. One more notch. It's mouth and lung to inhale. Now I got a very low V, uh, very yeah, very low VG high PG juice in here, which is about eighty percent, seventy five percent PG. As you can see. Blows billows of clouds. Right away, the flavor is not going to be perfect. It's you're gonna have kind of a cottony taste to it. And after I'd say uh, half a tank, or not even half a tank, hell, uh, thirty hits or so, you, your flavor is gonna start to taste a lot better. Especially after vaping a half a tank or a full tank, your next fill up. The flavor is just going to be out of this world. The flavor will be out of this world. I, I do honest reviews here. Very, very honest reviews. Like Just like the drip tip. How it was wiggling on you. So I just took it off. The, 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 the little top piece drip tip. In my opinion, Halo needs to revise that. Because that's just... That's not, that's not really going to work out. They need a, something a little more solid. 